we wish to begin with a little lesson while everything is settling into place. We have spoken before about how glorious humans were in what you call the olden days, many tens of thousands of years ago, when you were one with your planet and in harmony, when truly this planet was a potentially deadly paradise. We say potentially deadly for certainly there were predators and prey and humans as you evolved with your superior rational thinking, there is always a trade, a tit for tat. You released some of your survival skills that were natural as you evolve to become more functionally aggressive. What we mean is over time you lost your talons and your sharp teeth. So it became necessary for you to learn to hide well and to create weapons for protection. As you lost your wonderful fur covering, it became necessary for you to become craftspeople for designing of clothing or adventurers to move to places that were warm at all times. Innovation became the evolved, mm, the evolved protection when you lost your physical protection. This was an interesting choice for humans to evolve this way. Certainly the tigers did not nor did the sharks, but the humans did. This was a conscious soul level decision from the life path of humanity. If you look to the mandala of humanity as it was once long ago, you will see something like this. Long ago, there were less mammals, so there were less mandalas. Mammals were very primitive on your planet, so they had limited mandala, you know, network grid of energy. As mammals evolved, to take different shapes and forms, you got more stratified energy. So your song of soul became more like a chorus with a symphony as the zebras got their own mandala and the swallows and the falcons and this fishy and that fishy and this mammal and that gorilla and this elephant and this horsey and this kitty cat. All the different variations of mammal each would separate out to get their own energetic song of the planet. So what was once one note became one song, and was once one song became a symphony. This is how the many mandalas now are interconnected on your planet. Of course, now humans have brought many more with industry and the different frequencies that you have. So now you have 
the mandalas of humans, which takes up a great deal of energetic space on your planet. Then you have the mandalas of all the animals and the planet itself becomes a little more compressed under the very weight of the humans with the mandala of your traveling, your homes, this culture, that country, the industries, the educations, the belief systems, so many mandalas you humans have created, you have overwhelmed the entirety of the mandalas on your planet of all other collective life. Before we continue, do we have questions on this subject? Okay, excellent. We are more lucid than we had been in the past. We are happy that you understand what we say. Because humans are unaware of the energetic work you do, you do not realize how you are pushing down on all the energy of everyone else. This is partially because humans are very egocentric. This is not your fault. It's how you have evolved. It is not how you were designed. It is how, by you, me, we mean humanity, but it is how humanity has evolved to be seeing all of reality from self outward. When you look to God, you look from self to God. When you look to your friends, you look from self to your friends. Humans are very ego-oriented. What we wish tonight, yes, do I have a question? Yes. The, the planet Mandala, Mandalas, are they actually being physically pushed downwards toward Earth? They require more energy to stay buoyant. They do become compressed and they do become torn up. Mm. They do okay. not have the radiance they once had. Mm -hmm. Okay. We may say pushed down or tattered, worn through. They are the same, but yes, they do not have the glow and the eminence that is their birthright. Okay, thank you. Yes. So do not feel bad, those of you who are with us, that humanity is the global wet blanket and a bully because you are the ones who are interested in reversing this process and helping with the issues. You are the ones who are courageous enough to face the reality that is here and see how you can grow it to a healthier, more harmonious reality. So yes, imagine if all the mandalas of the planet were allowed to rise up buoyantly with power and energy, how many of the mandalas, the energy networks that you have on your planet would realize they do not need to exist. Many of the networks that you have on your planet exist because through fear you create them. When the planet's mandalas rise up, the fears release. Many of your mandalas will disappear and many others will become infused with the natural mandalas and harmonize or become one with them. 
so there is much work to be done and by much work we mean bringing love and harmony to your planet question yes is this part of the transformation that is coming after COVID and um, the other disasters? This is correct. You will notice on your planet, it is already, things are happening amok. You have revolutions, you have explosions, you have global climate change, you have so much that is happening that seems terrifying but we tell you the cure for all of this is for love and global love at the moment at the moment humanity has created a great mess where humanity is fighting each other and cares more about arrogance the mess becomes more great where humanity comes together in harmony the mess dissipates seemingly quickly you are observing this already eventually eventually your entire planet will become one of harmony this is happening the only question is how much chaos do sections of your planet feel compelled to writhe in before finally learning the karmic lesson and then going forward in peace and harmony global peace and harmony is inevitable so yes the mandalas are a part of this as keep peace and harmony come in the energy for planetary mandalas increases wonderful thank you this is our pleasure one of the issues that is holding people back from planetary peace and harmony is again this egocentric way of seeing things many humans not all so if what we say does not sit well with you do not be distressed we are giving a broad example many humans say either i see the world from me and what i want for me outward or they say i must not have any ego so therefore i live in a state of fairly much self-denial you think it's either all for me or i may not have for me at all however the actual balance is you live within yourself understanding you are just one element connected to many but you get to have all the goodness for you for when you are in a thriving energetic grid and energetic connection you will always be nourished you humans many of you are side by side but you are starving for the love that will be constant when you are connected with each other through harmony what you find is quite often those who demand everything for me will have an inflated sense of how extraordinary they are they think maybe they are more beautiful or brilliant or deserving than they are but their perspective the scope of what they think is worthwhile is limited on the other side those who say i don't care about superficial things or power 
authority games, I care about being very spiritual, will then be repulsed by their flesh. Oh, I hate the way I look. Oh, I put myself down. And we, I need to be connected. Uh, it's very self-abusive often. We know because we record you. We know what your inner thoughts are. Maybe not you specifics, but humanity. Humanity. The most deserving are the ones who often are the most abusive to self. When you connect through love to your environment, you see how quickly all of these distresses fall away. It is not the situation of, I must be good enough, then I get to. It's when I connect, I see how deserving I am and have always been. So we tell you, for humanity to come together in love will be a great boon for all frequencies on your planet and truly lighten the energy release it will be less dense and oppressive so if you wonder how can you be humble and deserving non-caring of games yet fully accepting of how deserving you are of self we would like to share with you a little journey so if you have questions ask now and then we will take you on a journey